Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, I thank my colleagues and those opposite for participating in that uh, point of order debate. Uh, what we've asked for here, and in the context of some of the previous arguments that were made against SO52s, the standard rollout ones, you know, it's tons and tons of resource, reams of paper, uh, um, human resource cost, all the rest of it. This is quite actually a modest ask, Mr. President. We are not asking for boxes upon boxes of SO52 returns. Uh, I'll go through them, Mr. President. Point A, all current lease agreements between the government and Ausgrid, Endeavour Energy and Transgrid. Now, that can't be too hard, can it? We're talking about lease agreements. Now, how many boxes do you reckon that's going to fill up? One-tenth, maybe? So the, the resource argument goes out the door. Similarly with point B, all documents, including correspondence created since 1 January uh, 2018, relating to any proposal or consideration of the further sale or lease of the government's ownership of Osgrid, Endeavour Energy and Transgrid. These are matters of public interest, Mr President. It's been on the record that there's been active consideration of further sale of those assets. And I think, and I think this House should think, that the public of New South Wales deserve to know whether or not the remaining portion of those assets are considered to be sold. Because, in fact, when the campaign was run by the government, they propagated, tried to propagate the argument that we're not actually selling it, we're only leasing the asset, we retain control of the asset, and we're leasing 49.5%. We're leasing well, if that's the case, we want to see the documents that may have considered the further sale, because that would be, constitute a, a breaking of election promise. Again, these are not voluminous asks, Mr President. We are asking for discussions that may have occurred around the sale. We're not talking about boxes upon boxes. It's a couple of documents at best. Now, the other point I want to uh, raise too, which is point C, all documents, including correspondence created since 1 January 2018, relating to any proposed consideration of the sale or lease of the government's ownership of essential energy. Same thing. We just, we just worded it differently, obviously, because that particular entity is 100 per cent owned. And the last one, which is the point we're asking for from Osgrid Endeavour Energy Transgrid about all suicide prevention policies, these are institutions which have had experienced thousands upon thousands of job losses. Uh, we've got people there suffering psychological stress and job insecurity, and we have evidence to, that indicates that the suicide rate has gone up dramatically, and we want to know what those entities who still have a responsibility to this government are doing to prevent them. them. And uh, it's more than reasonable. Uh, the old chestnut about reams and reams of papers and boxes doesn't cut it, and the House should pass it. It's in the public interest.